We always hear gold, myrrh, frankincense, that big three, but I have no idea what they are. I don't know if you do, but we know someone who does. His name is Jonathan Evans. He's an information specialist at the herbarium in Chicopee, and he's here to tell us the powers of these three items. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to see you, Seth. Good gold, see. myrrh, frankincense. Right. We know the value of gold. Right. We're, we're hit over the head with it every day. I would say. And it's on the rise. Is there anything else we need to know about gold? Well, gold, in the, in the Christian tradition, gold uh, obviously was... Uh, it was, it was a it was commodity. Just an, it was the commodity, so, you know, the royalty had gold. Yeah. And spiritually, it kind of helped to show uh, Christ's connection to his spiritual kingship. Mm -hmm. Myrrh, on the other hand, has been used uh, throughout the ages. Myrrh is a great antiseptic. Okay. It is a germ killer, basically. Uh, it was used by the Egyptians to help when they were uh, going through the mummification process. They were treating the body to keep the bacteria from destroying the body. Huh. Uh, Moses was instructed to anoint his priests with myrrh. It's mentioned a lot in the, in the uh, church. Spiritually, though, myrrh kind of showed that um, it was a, a portent of Christ's crucifixion, actually, huh. because that was going to be one of the items that was going to be used to prepare the body. So, Jonathan, myrrh... Is it a plant? Is it? It's a uh, resin. It's it? from a tree, and actually, the same trees that were used 2,000 years ago are still mm -hmm. owned by the same family. The the best myrrh you're going to find is down in the Southern Arabian Peninsula. Mm -hmm. uh, it is used. It was. And think now, 2,000 years ago, if you got a cut or a gash or something, it become infected, you die. Exactly. So only the royalty could have something like myrrh, which worked. They used to make ointments out of it to kill bacteria and germs and so forth to protect a wound. So these days we have hand sanitizer and all that good right. stuff. Is myrrh just as good? Have we moved past it? Does it still No, be myrrh is still being used, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, veterinary practices, you'll find myrrh, and this is what it is. It's a resin from the tree. It's going to help to fight it. Uh, it's used in the uh, unguents that, like I say, veterinarians do. We make it in some of our products over at the store in, in salves and uh, wound healing products to help fight the infection. Now, Jonathan, if people can't see what you just did there, you put this on a on a. It's a charcoal disc. Okay, like a like a miniature briquette. Right, the same kind of thing. If you're in the Christian or Catholic tradition, uh, the censer that the priests use, that thing that's smoking like crazy, uh -huh. they would have a charcoal disc in there. And there's some smoke undulating from this, in case you can't see it, and it smells great. Now, frankincense, strangely enough, for all my, my research, the only use for frankincense, though it is a very powerful germ killer, every group in the world that's ever used frankincense, it has a spiritual aspect. Really? That's what it's for. Uh, in the early tradition, the frankincense was burned in the Temple of Solomon, the Holy of Holies. So when it was burned and the smoke, and this is the frankincense tear, the smoke would carry your prayers to God. Interesting. It's always been used that way. In the Eastern traditions, it is used uh, basically as a connection for the eternal and the divine. That's it. Who would have thought? That's, that's my question, is who thought of this? And the, the thing is that I think during the holidays, or maybe it's just me, nobody thinks about this stuff. Well, everybody's heard about it, but nobody knows what to do. Exactly. And again, it's still used today. This is frankincense and myrrh oil. Just oh, smell and you that. combine them. Yeah, just smell that. That smells great. Isn't that great? Huh. So it's cleaning the air, it's helping to center and focus, and it really does kind of get you into the whole spirit, the reason for the season. So now I know what the wise men were thinking, they're good this gift givers. Yeah. Jonathan? Thank you so much for My clearing pleasure. this up for us. I really appreciate it. And happy holidays to you. You too. Merry Christmas. And you can always go to mymassappeal.com later today to find out a little bit more about this segment.